cataractcoach.com. K600 for a new graduate. In the USA, we'd say an attending surgeon. In other places, you'd say it's a consultant or a consultant surgeon. So let's watch the case here. Unedited routine case. K600, that's pretty good. That's more than halfway up the learning curve. And here comes a side port being made there. Interesting, a little bit of ink placed on the diamond in order to help stain that para. That can help. I am too cautious. I don't touch my diamonds. I wouldn't put ink on them. But okay, the incision's there. Now it looks like some anesthetic going in. So good draping, by the way. Eye in primary. I like the microscope settings. Nice, clear image there. Good picture. And you may be saying, where's the cataract? It looks so clear. Well, look at that red reflex. But you know, it's the modern day scopes. Modern day microscopes have such a great red reflex that kind of washes out any of the lens opacities. Now here comes our viscoelastic, probably a dispersive agent. Come in here nice, let's see, going across the AC. Beautiful. And a back fill. Look at that wave. Fantastic. Looks great. I bet you Dr. Rosen's enjoyed some cataract coach videos in the past. Nice techniques here. It looks really familiar. Oh, another diamond. Oh, I like the diamonds. Good job. Now, holding the eye with the forceps through the para. And let's see the main incision. Nice looking diamond keratome there. And starting off right at the limbal vessels. I like that too. Nice, nice, nice. Going in. Beautiful. Clean incision. Good tunnel length. That looks great. May need to widen up. Looks like a small diamond, right? Yeah. Slightly widening. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, that's a great looking incision. Both incisions nick of the limbal vessels. I like it. I like it very much. Let's see what's coming next. And now, okay, cystotome going in. And puncture the lens capsule. And that puncture looks, see, it looks pretty good. So there's no zonulopathy that we can detect yet. That looks good. So a little bit of opening the lens capsule. And... Now the forceps, okay. Looks like marked forceps too. Okay, measuring out, you're getting a good idea. Two and a half and five millimeters. So let's grab that lens capsule and let's see the technique here. Nicely done so far. I like the pivoting technique. I like how the instrument's pivoting in the incision and that rexus flap stays turned over. Beautiful control, nice round looking rexus too. I like that. All right, keep continuing. Go, 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 very nice. Looks like the video is shot in real time, which is fun. We're going to watch the whole video. I'm not speeding it up at all. And the video is about eight minutes, so pretty pretty efficient for K600. I'll give you that. Continuing that Rexus. Again, looking really good. That should be just about the five millimeters that was desired. Let's take a look. Are you going to measure at the end? Yep, look at that. Bang on five millimeters. I like it. Good job. Now let's see, hydro dissection, 27 gauge cannula. Oh, a specialized maybe chain cannula. A little bit of a burp of viscoelastic. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a fluid wave, another wave, another wave. And now let's see. Oh, nucleus partially prolapsed, I like that. And then tilting it up, flipping it over. Hey, look at that. Tilt and chop, flip and chop. I like it. Mmm, I've seen that before. A little extra aliquot of viscoelastic to protect the cornea. I like that too. Very nice. All right, let's see the technique. Uh, technique's probably going to be high vacuum, high flow. I know the parameters are a little bit blocked off on the screen here. I had to increase the zoom a bit, but that's okay. We don't need to know the exact numbers. Now, because we're smart, right? We go to cataractcoach.com, learn the FACO fundamentals, and figure out our own settings. Now, buzzing with the FACO probe there, right at the lens equator. That's a little different. And the chopper goes in, psh, two halves right there, just like that. Beautifully done. Emulsify this down. I like how the eye stays in primary, too. So good pivoting in the incisions. Again, not a super dense cataract, but that's okay in a lot of places. This is a very typical cataract, including Beverly Hills. And so now removing this lens. Look at that. So yeah, maybe prop get that cr crack a little bit more or just tilt the whole thing up. Again, it's not very dense. Just get these pieces coming up. Another helpful hint is to make sure you really separate the two halves. When you get that first chop in, I like to really separate the two halves. Propagate that chop all the way through. And look at that, beautiful. Coming out nice and easy. At this time, probably have your technician calling for and loading up the lens. And again, just, you know what I do here too, is just slight movement of the phaco tip will change some of the fluid currents, bring all the pieces to the tip nicely here. Looks like a purple sleeve, so maybe that's a 275. And there we go, aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. Those come down pretty easily. Very nicely done, I like it. You know, K600 is a good benchmark. Again, I think you're a little bit ahead of your schedule, so you're doing great. You're a little bit ahead of, on the top half of that bell curve. So this is, I'd probably guess, more like Case 1000 or so. Hey, check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel. So much great material. Even if you love cataracts like me, I promise you're going to love it. Don't make me keep telling you. Now, 
Again, I was saying, this is to me, it looks like more like case 1,000. So if there's only case 600, you're doing great. You're certainly ahead of schedule there. And now we got a coaxial uh, IA probe, and let's do some cortex removal. And that looks pretty good. Clean it up nicely. So again, I encourage you to learn all the techniques of nuclear practice. Flip and chop, like you see here, tilt and chop, use horizontal chop, vertical chop, do stop and chop, heck, even in some cases, do your divide and conquer, whatever it is. Just make sure you know all of them. Now cleaning up the capsule bag really nicely. That looks great. And then let's get the lens in the eye. So again, I'll, I'll, so far I like this case. I like, the, I like the draping for sure. like the incisions. Those were beautiful. And look at that polishing the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim too. I definitely like that capsule axis. That's beautiful. Five millimeters measured out. It looks great. Um, you may want to steal another trick from me. If you notice in most of my cases, I'll, I'll push that rexus slightly nasal. So when I center it up, I want it a little bit more nasal. Because think about it, where's the pupil? A little bit more nasal, right? And I also think, too, or the cornea, the, right, the temporal limbus is furthest from the visual axis. Here comes the lens going inside the eye. Let's see, deliver, deliver, deliver. Looks like a two-handed injector, single-piece acrylic lens. Let's see the design when it comes in there. And... Get that opened up and placed in the capsule bag. You'll definitely see that's a good looking rexus. So it's probably going to be a perfect five millimeter rexus with a six millimeter optic. And that looks great. Get that lens opened up a little bit. Very good. Take out that viscoelastic. I like to go behind the optic and move viscoelastic. And this is tilted enough that you probably don't need to do that. And then get those haptics to open up a little bit. Lens in good orientation. I like this further cleanup. That looks great. I guess it's going to be a happy, happy patient. Get that lens centered up here, and we'll call this a day pretty soon. It's a really nice case. I think you've done a fantastic job for case 600. Definitely keep up the good work. Uh, wash out that viscoelastic. I do that too, but I do it from the pair, but I like it. Yeah, you got to do that angle sweep, but I'm glad you picked that up. You know what? You can do that angle sweep, and you have a very, very low incidence of post-op day one pressure spikes. I mean, exceedingly low. And so now let's see through the para. Yeah, hydrate the incisions, get that lens centered up a little bit, get it make sure it's appropriately positioned. And then let's get some medication here and call this done. Yeah, lots of nice looking case. Really nice looking case. Again, keep up the good work. Can challenge yourself. You know what you gotta do? Go to your senior partners or your senior colleagues in the community. Tell them, hey, if they have a really tough case that they don't want to struggle with, just send it to you. You'll happily do it for them. And believe me, you'll be surprised, they'll take you up on that. And as a young surgeon, that's a great way to just test your mettle. And I think you'll do a, beautifully, a beautiful job. So again, keep up the good works. Congratulations for K600. I think you're doing great. Other surgeons who are watching this, if you're doing your uh, training or you're early in your career, this is fantastic for K600. And again, everyone, we can all achieve this together. Keep learning. And in that regard, make sure you check out our sister channel, retinarounds.com, and also the podcast. You know the Cataract Coach podcast, the sole purpose is to teach you the secrets of being successful? Check it out.